Ooh, this looks really yummy. I'm gonna cut it in half. Oh god, I my hair. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. And guess what's back? The beanie! Whoa! That's right, guys. The blue beanie's back. I am the blue beanie boy. I am the B B B. And guess who else is back? It's me, Toby. That's right, guys. Toby's back. It's great to be back, everyone. I miss you all, and I've just been uh, on vacation. Yeah, Toby's just been uh, on vacation. Anyway, guys, today we're gonna be trying some fun waffle iron life hacks. Let's see what we got. Okay, so you're at a party and you bring everyone pizza. You're distracted talking on your phone, and everyone grabs a slice. And you look, and there's none left for you. Oh man. Well, we have a simple solution here. What you're gonna wanna do is grab your waffle iron, get some pizza dough, put it right in there. Boom, you got yourself a nice pizza base. Then you add the tomato sauce, the mozzarella cheese, some tomatoes, basil, and now you got yourself a delicious pizza that you are not sharing with anyone. This looks pretty darn good, and if you guys know anything about me, I love myself some good old fashioned pizza. Pizza is the best food. If you guys wanna fight me about it, tell me down in the comments down below. Looks pretty good, let's try this one. Woo, okay guys. First thing we're gonna wanna do is preheat the waffle iron. Then we go ahead and get our pizza dough. How do I open this? Oh, here we go. Oh my god! Oh, that scared me. Oh, oh, that actually scared me. Well, we don't need this anymore. Oh. And I accidentally hit my assistant. Oops. Okay, here we go. Just roll that out. Woo. Okay, now we're gonna cut down our pizza dough so that it fits in this bad boy. But first we need to add Pam so that it doesn't stick. Looks pretty good. Okay, don't burn myself, don't burn myself, don't burn myself, don't burn myself. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. Close that up. Okay, I'll see you guys when it's done. Hopefully I don't burn it too bad. Okay, it's been like a minute and a half. That's cooking really fast. I'm gonna flip it over. Dang, I definitely think it needs a little bit more time. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty, wow, that actually looks pretty good. Yummy. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our cheese. Oh no, I forgot to add the tomato sauce. Get out of here. I need to open this can. Oh my gosh. Oh yes. It's okay, I'll just put more cheese on top of it. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a delicious pizza actually. Then we add our tomato. I'm gonna slice it up real thin. Ooh, yummy. Then we add our basil. Oh, this smells awesome, actually. I'm pretty excited for this pizza. And there we go, we have our pizza. Pop it out. This looks delicious. Oh man, this looks so delicious, actually. Let's try it. Oh, yummy. <laughs> oh, I love pizza. And this looks like a darn good pizza. It's not bad. Definitely not the best pizza I've ever had. Mmm. I actually really like this. Hey guys, be honest with me. Do I have anything in my teeth? Is it here? No? Wait, where is it? <laughs> well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. I would rate this one an eight out of 10. Delicioso! Hey, I wanna play! Oh yeah, uh, here you go. Oh my God, that's the best pizza I've ever eaten! you rate this one, Toby? I'm gonna rate this one a 10 out of 10! But that's because I've never had pizza before. Ha <laughs> mm. <laughs> ha! Mm, delicious. Okay, so here's a fun one. Did you know that you can make popcorn with your waffle iron? Neither did I! How weird! How wacky! I don't know if this one will actually work. I'm sure it will because you're just adding heat to the popcorn kernel, but you never know. I'm pretty 50-50 on whether this one will actually work or not. I guess we're just gonna have to try it. Okay, so preheat our waffle iron, open her up, spray her down, and just add our popcorn seeds. Not gonna lie, this makes me a little nervous. Down in the comments down below, uh, let me know if you guys think that this one will work. My guess is, uh, maybe. <laughs> I feel like it might work, but it'll burn a lot of popcorn. Anyway, only time will tell. <gasps> I think I already heard one pop. Let's wait for it. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Waiting, waiting. Oh, I heard a pop. Oh my gosh. Oh. Is it gonna do it? Is it gonna pop the popcorn? We got one. I definitely feel like I need to move these kernels out of the way a little bit. That would help a little bit. We got one so far. Not bad. We're just waiting on the others. Welcome to today's game show called Will It Pop? My guess is uh, probably 
probably not. I don't think they're all gonna pop. Maybe a few of them, but for the most part, I think this is just gonna burn the popcorn. We've got this waffle maker. I believe in you. You can do it. Oh, it's starting to pop. Got a couple little ones. I'll pull them out just for safekeeping. So far, this definitely doesn't seem like the most efficient way to do it. Okay, so this is taking a while, so I'm just gonna do a time lapse and uh, we're gonna see how long this really takes. I'll be back. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, and uh, it's been about five minutes. Uh, let's see where the heck we're at. Oh, we did get some popping. This is one of the most inefficient ways to pop popcorn. Yeah, I don't really know how I feel about this one. So far, we got a small handful of popcorn. Oh, whoa! Some are starting to pop. But in the course of like five minutes, I feel like it could have microwaved a whole bag by now. So I guess we're gonna have to say that this one worked, but it's it's definitely not a life hack. It's not very efficient at all. Whoa, they just keep popping. Oh, this one's about to do it. I can see it. It's about to do it. It didn't do it. Oh, well. Oh, I did it! Let's see if it makes the popcorn taste any better. Mmm, nah. It just tastes like regular popcorn. <laughs> so yeah, I would rate this hack a, uh, oh my gosh. I would rate this hack a three out of 10. Wouldn't really recommend. Anyway, on to the next one. So now we all know how versatile waffle irons are. But did you know that you can make yourself a s'more sandwich? Just add your chocolate, add your marshmallows, put the sandwich together, and boom, a delicious toasted s'more sandwich. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> this one sure looks delectable. Let's try it. Okay, guys, so for this one, I'm gonna have Toby do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one. I won't fail you, Robbie. I'll try my best. Okay, so I didn't open it. Oh, man. Mission accomplished. Put on our bread. Baba Booey. Yeah, let's go. Uh, our chocolate. Uh, hey, Robbie, do you think you're gonna help me open this? Oh, yeah, uh, sure, Toby. <laughs> years later. Okay, I think it's done. Oh, that looks delicious. Oh, oh, oh my God. Maybe use another. Oh, yeah, good enough. Oh, get out of here. Well, oh, Toby, it looks like you did a, a, a great job. Thanks, Robbie. I really tried my best. Well, I guess it's uh, it's time for me to try it. Oh, I want to try it first. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You gotta be more careful. You don't think I know it? I'm gonna try it now after it cools off a little bit. Okay, let's see what this beautiful creation that Toby made tastes like. Ooh, I got some chocolate on me. I feel like it's gonna taste a lot better than it looks. Mm, I mean, it can only be so bad because it's literally marshmallow and chocolate. It actually tastes pretty good. Mmm. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. I'm gonna go ahead and rate it a 7 out of 10. If I was a bigger chocolate fan, I'd probably rate it a 10 out of 10, but I'm not that huge of a fan of chocolate, so. Yeah, it's still pretty dang good, though. Mmm. Oh, God, right in my hair. Oh, no. <laughs> how am I supposed to turn off my camera? Here's how to make yourself a delicious breakfast sandwich. All you gotta do is put the bread, some egg, and also some bacon inside that bad boy. Then it's all cooked, and you put it all together. Wow, that egg does not look natural at all. Why are they putting chocolate on your breakfast sandwich? Chocolate on eggs? What is wrong with you? Anyway, okay, this is the part where we try it. Okay, guys, so for this one, we're gonna need to break out the big boy. Get out of here, little waffle egg. <laughs> First things first, we add our bread, then our bacon, two slices ought to do it, and we can't forget our eggs. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close it up and hope for the best. See you when it's done. Hopefully I don't burn down the house. Oh, and it's done. Let's see how it turned out. Whoa! Okay, so my synopsis, the bread looks like it's properly cooked. The egg, not bad. The bacon, I think it needs a little bit of time. Okay, let's start putting this bad boy together. Can we get our egg? I don't fully trust this bacon, so I'm gonna let it cook a little bit longer. Two hours later. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. Go ahead and smack that on there. Oh, that actually looks freaking delicious. Okay, let's try it. Oh, this looks really yummy. I'm gonna cut it in half. Do you guys cut diagonal or in half? My dad always taught me to do it in diagonal. I don't really know why. Ooh, this looks like a darn good sandwich. But does it taste any good? 
Mmm. This is pretty darn tasty, actually. I definitely think it's a little bit dry. And it could definitely use a little bit of ketchup. But other than that, I'm gonna have to say that this one works. I'm gonna rate it a solid 9 out of 10. This is a very tasty hat. I applaud you, 5 Minute Crafts. Good job. Mmm, tasty. So for this one, you're gonna wanna get some Skittles and put them right inside of your waffle iron. Add your little popsicle sticks. And now you got yourself a cool lollipop. I have a good feeling that this one is gonna destroy my waffle iron. But for the sake of the craft, we're gonna try it. Let's sort some Skittles. Oh, and time. Yeah, not bad for someone who's partly colorblind. And then we get our waffle maker. And I'm gonna try and do like a rainbow lollipop thing. I'm just kinda scared I'm gonna burn myself on this hot iron. Now the orange, yellow, some green. And they don't have blue Skittles regularly, so I'm just gonna add purple at the very end. Last but not least, we add the popsicle sticks. Okay, let's hope this doesn't burn down my house. Okay, it's been about five minutes. Let's see where we're at. Oh. Oh my god, oh my gosh. I definitely have to let this cool down before I pull it out. It definitely melted them. Not bad. I think I'm even gonna bust out my box fan just to help cool it down faster. Okay, this fan is so big compared to this little waffle iron. And now we wait. Okay, so this seems about cooled down. Now let's see if we can get it out without breaking it. You ready? Oh. Okay, we'll try it again. Oh, come on. Real gentle. We did it! Whoa! That was totally my fault. Ugh. Two and a half out of four ain't bad. At least I got this perfect one. Now let's try it out. I don't think I've ever tried a Skittle flavored lollipop before. So this is definitely gonna be a first for me. Okay, let's try it. Wow! I don't think it's as good as a regular lollipop, but it's a really cool concept. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. I'm gonna go ahead and rate this one a seven out of 10. Go ahead and try it if you want and make sure to tag me uh, at Robbie Epic Sauce on everything. Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, everything. If you, if you do it, make sure to tag me. If you try any of these hacks, make sure to tag me because I wanna see if you guys do it better than me. Anyway, yeah, pretty good. Hmm. Okay, now how the heck am I supposed to get this thing out of my waffle? <laughs> On to the next one. So here's how to make yourself a fancy cake. What you're gonna wanna do is get some pancake batter and mix in some food dye. Put that bad boy in there. You got yourself colorful pancakes. Gotta add the whipped cream. Yum yum. Add some fruit. Boom, you got yourself a fancy birthday cake. Okay, let's try and make ourselves some fancy pancakes. Okay guys, so here's our waffle mix. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is make our waffle mix. Recipe calls for one cup. One, two, three. Two thirds cup of water. Break out our Mixitron 5000! I feel like this needs more water. Booby boop. And we're gonna go ahead and separate it into three bowls. Go ahead and add our food dye. These three colors should do. And mix it up, baby, now. Mix it up, baby. Mix and shout. Now we go ahead and put them in bags to help pour them easier. Here's our waffle maker. So let's see, on the outside, I'm gonna go ahead and do pink. Flip a little bit of that off. Oh my gosh. Don't mess up, don't mess up, don't mess up. Put it all around. We're just gonna go around town. I definitely should have made more waffle mix. Now I'm gonna do blue. Now for green. Now we're gonna close it up and just hope that this actually works. I'll see you when it's done. Okay, and I think it's done. Whoa! It's, it definitely could be a little bit more vibrant, but it looks pretty darn tasty. Okay, let's pop this guy out. Yeah. Gonna add a little bit of whipped cream. Oh my gosh. Oh man, we're all out of whipped cream. Okay, let's try this bad boy. Oh, this is gonna be good. I think that the whipped cream made the waffle a little soggy. Well, let's see if it tastes any good. I mean, I'm assuming it's just gonna taste like a waffle covered in whipped cream, like, right? <laughs> Pretty much what I'd expect. If I had more, I could definitely make a giant cake out of this. Let me know if you guys think I should make a giant stack of these. That would be pretty interesting. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. That would probably give it uh, eight out of 10. I really like the idea of colored pancakes, 
pretty fun. Woo! Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a little thumbs up. Look something like this fire right down there. If you guys like this video, you guys want to watch me try more fun life hacks and crafts, I actually have a whole playlist you can watch right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to watch funny clips from these videos and new clips before they come out, I actually have a new channel called Robbie Clips. You can subscribe right here. And if none of that stuff sounds fun, you can always click the mystery card. What's the mystery card going to be? I don't know. Okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. I'm Renetic. Okay, bye. Ah!